Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Chef Neat. So if you know anything about me, you know I am a Krispy Kreme addict and I love sugar. So this morning I decided to make me a good old Krispy Kreme peach cobbler. So let's get started. So I went a little crazy on the mini original glazed donuts because they were so good. So I'm going to use my leftover apple turnovers <laughs> as substitute. Um, so what you're going to do is go ahead and remove the apple filling from the inside and just break the donut down to add the donut to the rest. Okay. Alright, so now that the custard is made, woo, yes, tastes so good. I went ahead and tasted it. Um, but now we are going to add our chopped up donuts to the custard mix. Now the recipe only calls for allowing this to soak for five minutes, which I highly recommend you keep your eye on it. Um, I went over the five minutes and I did get a little bit... Um, more of a mushy texture but it wasn't all of them it was just a couple of pieces probably the extra small pieces so just make sure that you don't um, manipulate the donuts too much because you don't want it to break down and also don't let it soak too long because you do still want that firm donut in your um cobbler
Okay, so for this recipe, I am going to use cornstarch instead of guar gum. Um, I did go ahead and mix up two tablespoons, I mean, excuse me, two teaspoons with some water. And we are going to add that to this mixture just to thicken up our sauce. So I'm going to allow this to cook. And then we are going to add it to our pan. Woo, woo. Okay, okay, so our sauce is starting to thicken up. So it is almost time to remove this from the pan. All right, so I'm gonna just stir this around. And then we are gonna allow this to cook for a few more minutes and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, perfect. So now it's time to make our peach cobbler. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the peaches from the pan and pour them into our baking dish. Okay, now ideally I should have put a little bit to the side just so I can add to the top, but I'm gonna go back and do that later on. Excuse the view, I didn't really do this part too too it wasn't too thought out but that's okay because <laughs> we still got a good angle all right so you see the peaches looking good tasting good okay so this portion is pretty much self-explanatory but what we are going to do is we're going to take the um well, first, I'm going to take some of the peaches out because, like I said, I want to add some to the top and I want some of this juice to be on the top. Um, but we are going to take these donuts out of the custard and place them in on top of the peaches. But be careful not to transfer too much of the custard. And also, we will not pour the custard over top, okay? So once you take the donuts out the custard, you get rid of the custard and then the rest will bake into the cobbler. All right, slide that bad baby into the oven just like that. We are going to let it cook on 350 for 20 minutes, okay? Voila, 20 minutes later, guess what? She ready. Look at her. <laughs> yes, baby. Now I probably could have let this cook for about five more minutes, but that is all right. We are going to go ahead and taste this bad baby. Yes, so far it smells like French toast up in here. And the peaches by themselves are absolutely delicious. So I cannot wait to taste this as a dish. All right, all right. Let me taste out my own recipe. Hmm, we working with. Mmm, 
oh my god this peach cobbler is so fucking fire so thank you Krispy Kreme so much for that recipe and thank you all for watching have a good evening I hope you enjoy bye